Here's a great bit of furniture for a sensory room from Mike Ayres. Have a look at this. It's wonderful. Colour is the other issue. And furnishings. I think white is okay, or a nice sort of creamy colour is great. Uh, dark coloured floor. That's really going to help. Okay, come on, Richard. Show him how to do this. Here's a great mat. I like this. There you go. Look at that. Can you see it's dark on the underside and white on the top? But here's a wonderful bit of furniture. This is really cool. You can sit on it. Go on, Richard, sit on it. No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to pull it out. Hang on. Oh, yeah, I was just working. Oh, yes, I remember this. I was just working out how it worked. So there you go. You can pull that down like that. And you can turn it into um, turn it into a chair. There you are. So you can actually sit on that. That's nice and comfy. Uh, just fold it back. And look, it's now a black chair. That's great. Oh, no, it's not. It's a white chair. Right, so let's just... Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, yes, yes, yes. There you go. White sofa. Fantastic. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go on, squash it down and it'll turn into ooh, ooh, a white floor mat. Brilliant. So there you go, a nice white floor mat. And, of course, if I turn it over completely, it'll turn into... Um, and there it goes, a black floor mat. Wonderful. So this is really multi-use, you know, it's so simple, and it works really well. This is from Mike Air's design. So, there you go, from a white chair to a black chair. Fantastic! Phew, I think I need a drink. I just really like that because it's so flexible. And many thanks to Mike for letting us do that video. So Richard Hurstwood, get a look at the website www.multi-sensory-room.co.uk. Bye!